As you can see by the title, we are going to Manchester for the weekend. We have got a lovely five-star hotel stay at the Gotham Hotel that we have wanted to go to for absolutely years. This is a Christmas treat for us both. Adam actually got me a afternoon tea for the Gotham Hotel. That's a little bit of an addition that we're going to be doing tomorrow. I really hope that the camera isn't too wobbly because on the motorway at the moment. So you're just like bobbing up and down at the moment. Just stop for a quick. Adam's got a Costa. I got a Starbucks earlier. I got a caramel cream frappuccino with oat milk and vegan whipped cream and some caramel drizzle. I always have it cream based because I don't like coffee. Um, so we're going to have a fun weekend in Manchester. We're firstly going to go to the Trafford the Trafford Fashion Outlet, that's not it, the Trafford Centre. Do a little bit of shopping, see what's about. We absolutely love going to Manchester, so we can't wait for this. We're just gonna check out the Arndale. We've got a load of um, pictures to shoot whilst we're up there too. So it's gonna be a jam-packed weekend. So I hope you enjoy coming along and enjoy the vlog. What a lovely angle. So we're in the Trafford um, Centre. I keep going to say the Trafford Fashion Outlet, but it's not the one. We're gonna go do a little bit of shopping, take you along, hope you enjoy. There's still got all the Christmas lights up as well, so enjoy that too. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low I'm just in the room, it's never looking at all the board games What absolute throwback, snakes and ladders Just seen them, picture Rika as well, let me show you Who remembers this? And who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> I didn't even show you some outfit right now. It is, isn't it? I love these jackets. Yeah, <laughs> I just got you saying that job. They look so cool. I love these coats. I used to have one when I was a kid and one got me from it. No, it isn't. I love it. I used to have one when I was a kid, but denim one. With like little butterflies and flowers on it. How cool is that? Oh, what? Oh, okay. oh, yeah, they got a sale. Yeah, they got a sale. It's 50% off. Does it look cool? Oh, it does as well? Oh, we'll have to get that. Yeah, definitely. I've got some good sales. I'll just pick this up. 50% off for the little snow fairy in the bear. These are all 50% off. Go right, my basket. There is so much in the sale. The reason the candles in the sale as well, they're 50% off. I've got more in the basket as well. I'll have to give you the whole later. What's that, babe? Disgusting. Once upon a time. Yeah, I just not that many girls. I wasn't a big fan. But we're just in Mankind. Look how cool the little gadgets are in here. I remember Pan and Ice. Um, this reminds me of. Been, uh, so many cool gadgets in here. Not VR. <coughs> What's that? The Lazy M. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We've got cute little garden bits in here as well. How cute. Also got these. This is what I got Adam for Christmas. A grow it bonsai tree because he always tells me how much he wants a bonsai tree. <laughs> so I've got one of them. That's cute as well. Cute little bits. Oh, I remember them. These are cute little things. Little manifesting things and astrology. Oh, that was cute. Prettiest shopping centre I've ever seen. Look at the artwork up there. It's amazing. Such cool architecture. We're just in the Lego shop and look at the house. There's a little train. So, oh my god, they have the, the Disney castle. Oh my god, Sophie, love that. <laughs> what? Oh, it's literally in front of my face, Bob. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, look at the little princesses. How cute. Oh my god, they've got Hocus Pocus too. The prices are extortionate. £200. I didn't realise there was a lounge up here. How pretty does it look? So we're just in Bath and Body Works. So look at the discount that I've got. I'm going to get a few of these. Now Sophie, that they're cheaper. I'm definitely going to be leaving with a few things. Just a little bit of reality for you. It was so hot 
in there. We've come back to the car to take our coats off. I'm that hot, I've had to take my jumper off, sit like this. I took my boots off. It's, the car's steaming up on that hot because my toes are sweaty. <laughs> but we're going to drive around to Primark because we've seen all the shops and it's a 15 minute walk to get from where we are. We parked outside MS all the way over to Primark. So, like, forget this, we're just going to drive around being lazy, but I'm in heels, so forget walking. But we're going to go to Primark now and take you around Primark. Oh, this is a little Elon Cafe. We're in the middle of the. Wait, what are we in? It's not the Trafford out uh, centre, it's either part Plaza or something like that. Like, how cute! We're just about to go into Primark. Let's go! How cute is this mall? Only three pounds. It's a nice little tulip one as well. That's so cute! That's so cheap as well. Go downstairs, have a look at all the fashion bits. See what it's about. I love the sign that they've got in here. So cool. Last time we came here it was 2021, like back in COVID time, so this is like so strange. I'm going for this blazer, which is 20 pounds, looking like green. These look cute as well, these little 3D things. Oh, that's cute. For sure. That's cute as well. Is that actually reduced? I only saw that the other week. 20 pounds. I like this skirt, I was just saying to Adam, I wish they'd had a matching jumper because that'd be a really cute set with this cute little hem. I like that jumper too. He's on a bit of a skew with, but we've just um, been into Asda. I've got a McDonald's inside because we went in to get a meal deal for us, but they did have, didn't have have anything vegan vegetarian, so I, of course, made that excuse to get a McDonald's and got a McPlant. So I got a medium McPlant meal with some fries, a pineapple stick that you're sitting on as a tripod, and a fruit shoot. So that is lunch for today. And my feet are throbbing from wearing my boots. Um, and we're thinking we're probably going to go to the hotel after this, which is very exciting. Hopefully we're going to be able to park around the hotel because there's no actual parking apart from NTP car park, New York Street or something like that. So if we can't park around the hotel, then we're going to go park at this car park nearby. If you want to park at the hotel, it's valid parking only. It's £40, which is like... Spenny! We're going to do that. So I'm going to eat this and then go to the hotel. Also, I'm really awkward with my my burgers. So I only have lettuce and vegan cheese on it. I don't I don't have anything else. I don't like the pickles. I don't like the sauce. I don't like tomatoes. I'm the fussiest person going. So mine just looks like this. So I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this with some barbecue sauce on top. Because I can't go to McDonald's and not have barbecue sauce. So, yeah, I'm gonna eat this and I shall chat to you when we're no doubt at the hotel. Catch you in a bit. Just got here, parked up the road. Look how cool it looks. It's raining though. <laughs> Great. It's just you in the background with the binoculars, babe. <laughs> so, we just checked in to the Gotham Hotel. I can't remember what this is called. I think this is the double room that we've got but I'm going to show you around it's very very swanky the service is exquisite the guy that we were greeted by in proper reception because when you walk in it's a reception with the concierge and then you go up the, the lifts to the sixth floor and then you met by reception and then on the right there was like um the honey restaurant and the guy that we spoke to he's really lovely he was like so pleasant and well spoken and everything it was really really nice so I'm going to show you around the room so we've got the Gotham Bugle I'm guessing this cool little paper so i'll have a little look at that later and there's some little books this cute little desk area this is the main look of the room i love how they've done the faux fur blanket like draped over the bed it looks very nice very high ceilings i'll show you outside in a moment but this is basically the room cute little trunk there how sweet <laughs> binoculars lol um it looks very very cute it's a very swanky hotel um, but this is the wardrobe and in here you've got the mini bar which we will not be touching because you know that's an extra price that I don't really want to pay because I'm a tight ass. Cost enough, we've been staying here for one night. Um, but this is what we've got in here and they've got some funny little bits down there. Um, <laughs> a safe, we've got some, oh we got that babe, we've fallen over. You've got some little piggy shortbreads, how cute. Coffee machine, kettle, um, brolly. And then in the mini bar, they've got some champagne, champagne, um, some little spirits and things. Oh, the chocolate! How cute! It's annoying when there's no prices on it though. They've got like a little card or something that says how much everything is because I'm not paying something that, like that. But this wine is 
£33. So I won't be paying for that. Um, but yeah, it's um, funny how they don't put prices on things. But I'm probably just being a tight ass. But like, you know me, I like to save money where I can. I'm not going to spend money on things that cost a fortune. So that is the little mini bar. And wardrobe. We're going to get our things in a minute because we haven't actually got our, our stuff because we just found out where to park. Look at the artwork. So cute. And then this is the little, what are they called? Um, do not disturb bag. What is in there? It's like bean bits. But that's what you put on the door if you don't want to be disturbed. Um, and then this is the bathroom. Very swanky. Look at the toiletries. It says we've got some body wash, body lotion, shampoo, conditioner. And take full advantage of that. Some more artwork. Nice big mirror. I've noticed they haven't actually got a full length mirror. What do they have? No, they have it in the wardrobe actually. Um, and then a walk in a shower. We're kind of a bit gutted that there's no bath. But I think the only room that had a bath was like the really expensive one, which was like £500 a night. And um, yeah, that's a bit spinny. <laughs> this is just a treat for us here because this is a five star hotel. We don't ever stay in a five star hotel, by the way. This is not like your everyday thing. Um, it's very rare that we even stay in a four star. I'll be honest. We've got some bread. <gasps> Adam, what did you do then? <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, who wrapped? But yeah, that is pretty much the room. Let's show you outside. We've also parked on the road, like around that way somewhere, because you can pay every so often and after eight o'clock it's free. So that's cool. And then I think these lights are gonna light up later. So, how cool. So yeah, that is the room. We're gonna go get our bits. Um, yeah, see what else we're gonna do. So we're all checked in. Oh, being rained on. Um, we're just gonna go look around the Arndale Centre. Hotels are very lovely. We've got sort of, we've got checked in for afternoon tea tomorrow at quarter past one, which is lovely. We've got breakfast in the morning. We just got to sort out dinner for tonight, and we're gonna go for the drinks on the rooftop bar later, which will be, which will be so cool. So we're just gonna have a look around the oh, <laughs> shopping centre um, in the Arndale and uh, do a little bit more shopping, and then we'll go from there. See, where we're gonna go for dinner. <laughs> Some guys, yeah. I really like these boots, but they're 2 dollars Very steady. It's a really nice bag to them. Have a little lock in River Island. It's a lot about spending here. Cool. So we're back at the hotel. We had dinner at Pizza Hut. I didn't vlog it because we literally just had a margarita pizza and some chips and a drink and we popped into Tesco on the way back and I picked up, well, Adam's bought it for me, um, a new vegan and Krispy Kreme Oreo donut mm, and I'm going to try it with you. Look at it, wait, let's smell it. Mm. it. smells like heaven. Oh, I love Oreos. So I'm just going to try it with you. So this is what it looks like. Let me try it, show you it in the light. Yum. Oh, I do. This is basically pudding. Oh, is it going to focus? There we go. Mm. Bit messy. Mm. A bit of cream in the middle. Mm. Yum. It, is. it tastes a bit like a standard crispy cream donut though, with just a bit of oil on top. Cream's nice, I'm just going to lick it from the bottom. It's quite nice though. Mm -hmm. Proved by me. <laughs> We're now chilling out, watching Titanic on the telly before we end up going to the bar and the wee walk. It's only, at the moment, six o'clock. Let's chill and then we're gonna go for a wee drinky poo upstairs Excuse in the bar. You're right. So cool. Mm. This is fancy. Oh, <laughs> must fall upstairs. Isn't this bar fancy? <laughs> Yeah, wherever. I don't mind. I'm just taking a little video. Oh, let me just see outside. Shame it's raining. Look cute. Let's see what drinky booze they've got then. Virgin heat. Oh, they've got hot tips as well. Well, they've not even got fingers. They've got corns on my Oh, it's quite hard for me to show you actually, but look at that, we're so high up. 
Lovely view. I would like to see this in the daytime. Ah, why not there? Got myself a mocktail. This is called a sunny bee. It's basically like a one summer martini mocktail. A little bit of garnish on top that I'm definitely going to eat. And we're back in the room. I'm really annoyed at myself the fact that I forgot my camera because the quality difference, don't know whether you can tell, between my phone and my camera is like massively different, especially with the audio. So I'm like, oh no, do not want that to happen. Not over the sink. I've literally just placed it on the sink very st strategically. Um, so hopefully that's gonna stay. It doesn't look like it's slipping. So we're gonna do a skincare routine um, together. And you know what I actually forgot? I've got a toothbrush, didn't I? So that's going to the pound shop buy a toothbrush. So not myself for that as well. <laughs> so I am going to take my makeup off with you. Let me get all of my little things out. I actually brought a face mask with me as well. Do I do a face mask? You don't know. I keep getting these bumps on my face again. I don't know if you can can't see it on the camera, but um, I'm getting like bumps on my face and my forehead. But I have changed my cream back to this, the Hydrogenius moisturizer i am gonna have a shower after this so i'm literally just washing my face with you so let's get out all the products first before i start waffling um i need my shower oil out i've got this loxitan shower oil with me i've also got my loxitan conditioner and shampoo this little du oh, not anymore this little duo is it like micellar shampoo and conditioner if you can see there we go we've got them little goodies from our calendar like ages ago and then i've got some shower oil, shower gel which actually isn't this it's from like i've topped it up from another hotel which i'll probably do in this hotel to be fair because you know save the uh little bottles and save a bit of money same with this cream i'll probably load that up with the bullshit one <laughs> just to use that up what else have we got in here i've got my trusty carmex because we all know on this channel i can't live without my Carmex. I have to take it everywhere with me. I also got my wild deodorant. Um, this is my, oh, it's a bit wet, my favourite deodorant. I try actually have a discount code, which is down below. I'm not too sure if it's still running, but I've always left it down below for you if you want anything from wild, but this is my favourite deodorant. It's eco-friendly, refillable. But yeah, this is my favourite deodorant that goes pretty much everywhere with me. Um, and that is pretty much it. I also take a pillow spray with me, which is this lots of time on when we go away i think i showed you most of these when we went to the cheltenham vlog and i've also got my trusty lots of favorite serum which i really need to figure out how to open because i need to refill this because i don't think i'm gonna get anything after that oh oh we will okay that's fine so we'll get a little bit out of that i've also got a little bit of this cream left which i probably will try and get out which is this locks the time is it even showing you there we go and i've also got my ritual shower oil with me which is probably what i will use in the shower and of course i brought with me my usual bha toner which i use in the morning i'm literally just showing you all the products on the side and not even in order we've got this l'oreal spf that i use as well the daily but and another thing that i brought with me is my new the vs bell lancome perfume the investment one i think this smells divine if you're gonna get perfume get Le Veilleuse Val by Lancome. It's so good. And that is my skincare routine. So now I'm going to take, well, it's not my skincare routine. That's my products I brought with me, sorry. So now I'm going to take off my makeup with this L'Occitane Oil to Milk product, which is my, oh, love it when my hair stuck to things. This is my trusty makeup remover, basically. Also got some hand cream with me as well. Oh, my favorite L'Occitane hand cream i do as we can tell i love lots of <laughs> very much and i've also got the rituals cleansing foam with me my little travel size one so i'm going to take off all my makeup do do i do skincare no i'll literally take my makeup off have a shower then do my own face and whatnot so i will do this squirty squirty squirt <laughs> let's put this into my face it, oh my god look at that i know this is like pretty gross and up and personal but it is literally melting off my face. Oh my god, I really need to get this stuff out of my eyebrows. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. It feels a bit gritty though. Lovely. So I am actually going to double, cl double cleanse with this. I'll take all my makeup off. Makeup is now off. And now I'm going to use my Refi Purify 
Velvety Smooth Cleansing Foam. So if you're watching this and you don't have a skincare routine, girlies and guys, you need a skincare routine. I love to always take care of my skin. I've taught care of my skin since I was 16. My mom always drilled into me to put astral cream on my face. Does anyone know what astral cream is? Like even when my mom was my age, when she was younger, my nan, her mom, used to always say you need to moisturize your face and she covered her face in like astral cream. Runs in the family. <laughs> so getting in a skincare routine into your day, your morning and in the evening is so beneficial. Like I can't go to bed with a full face of makeup. I, I just can't do that to my skin. I have to clean my face. I have to moisturize. I have to do the full skincare routine. I can't go to bed. No matter what time of the day it is, I have to do my skincare routine. <sighs> Otherwise I won't forgive myself. <laughs> and it's just like the feeling of moisturizing my face. Oh, I just love it. It's just rejuvenating. I love it. I also cannot wait to finish the products that I've already got, like my moisturizers, because Adam got me a Charlotte Tilbury. Two Charlotte Tilbury Magic Creams. Bless his heart. They did have an amazing sale on. So we got two for the price of one, which I'm so glad that you took full advantage of. And I can't wait to use it again, because the glow of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream is beautiful i really want to try more charlotte tilby um products this year especially makeup i also need to do a makeup storage like um clear out because i realized that i've got so many makeup products that i literally do not use so we need to do that at some point so i might do that with you because the next video it's going to be an Aldi grocery haul, but the, the one after that is going to be a reset vlog because when i vlog next weekend we're going to get the christmas decks down we're going to have a deep clean of the house. I'm gonna maybe declutter the cupboards or like reorganize them and maybe do my dressing room at the same time and like declutter it a little bit. Just tidy up, get rid of things that I don't need. So I might do that. So that might be like quite a long reset video, which is perfect for January because we all know that January is like a really good month for like resetting and decluttering and things like that. So that is what the plan is for the video. But if there is any videos that you want to see from me, please comment them down below because I'd love to know what you like to see from me, whether it's vlogs, get ready with me, which I rarely do get ready with me. So I am tempted to do one very soon, like a Q and A, get, re get ready with me. Cause there are so many new faces around here. Welcome if you're new, thank you for watching. Yeah, I feel like you guys need to get to know me a bit better. So I feel like a Q and A, get ready with me is very, very, very overdue. So I feel like that needs to come too soon. So I will put a poll on my, not a poll, I'll put a status, on my community as well as my instagram whether it's anonymous or just standard questions you want to ask far away i'm gonna put so follow me over on instagram i'll do that in the next week or so so we can get that filmed um but yes i'm going to have a shower and then i'll do my skincare with you when i come back out i'm just like that i'm all showered i did put that face mask on but it made my skin like feel like it was burning a little bit so i've got it off and chucked it in the bin because i think it might have been out of date um, but so that's gone in the bin so i'm just going to use the leftover of my reset serum from loxatan my favorite i'm actually surprised that i'm getting a little bit out of that but somehow i need to figure out how to open it and see if i can refill it so i love to be able to refill things <laughs> i absolutely love the serum if you get any serum for your skin invest in the loxatan one and i'm not just saying that because um, I've actually tried and tested it for a long time and I know it's a really good serum and I love it. I would say it's worth the price. I probably got it three, maybe four bottles and the refill stuff. So I do really love this serum and it just really hydrates my skin. That's my serum on and I'm now going to use my Hydrogenous Aloe Water moisturizer i absolutely love this but i do feel like in the winter i need a thicker moisturizer so i feel like i should be swapping over to the charlotte tilbury one and this is more of like a summer moisturizer i still love it regardless and it was super cheap on amazon i'll leave a link down below i think i got it for like six pound on amazon whereas before i think it used to be ten pound for it which again isn't a lot for a moisturizer when I mean, you can get like there's quite a lot of moisturizer out there that are extortionate but that one this one i absolutely love and look how glowy my skin is after using that heavenly it's super affordable all the products that i mentioned where i can i will link them down below as i always do link all the products that i mention in my videos oh, i love to just like really get it everywhere 
so that all my skin is moisturised and down the neck. Don't forget to moisturise your neck, as I always say. What my mum always tells me as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of lip balm on, as always. I've also put a heat protectant spray. This Bondi Boost one that I haven't actually... I've got a fair bit left of it, to be fair. I put that on so that in the morning I can blow dry my hair and... No, not blow dry it, and curl my hair, sorry. I can't open this because my hands are all slippy. There we go. Oh, it's a brand new one. Fresh lip balm. Love that. Also, if you're gonna get any lip balm, I love for Carmex. Always get Carmex. I've used it for years again. So good. It smells like water balloons. Lovely. Very, very nice. Favourite lip balm ever. And I always, always rave about it. And the last step is a hand cream. The Cherry Blossom. I love the Cherry Blossom range from Lots And I also use the body lotion afterwards when I got out. So divine so so nice so i'm just gonna put a little bit of that on like, my hands don't know why i'm putting that in there because i actually need that in the morning just got a habit of putting them back in my bag <laughs> that is my skincare routine i'm going to hop into bed read for a little bit maybe have a little bit of a scroll and then read my book and then put on the pillow the pillow I missed by a lot of the time. This is, by the way, this isn't an ad or anything from Lockstar. I was gifted these products, like, not the Christmas gone, the Christmas before, um, in a advent calendar from Lockstar. I almost whacked myself in the face with my hair. But yeah, don't don't mind my drowned rat appearance, but we've got to let the hair naturally dry, so, and then I'll curl it in the morning. But anyway, back to this. Yeah, I absolutely love Lockstar. I always, always rave about them. As we all know in my videos, if you're a long-term subscriber. So I am going to get myself into bed. And I shall see you in the morning for a lovely day at the hotel. We're going to have breakfast, shoot some content, and then afternoon tea at quarter past one. So look forward to it. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. From really terrible lighting with this starlight. So let's just go here. <laughs> so it is the morning. I've just done my hair and makeup. <laughs> I'm just lying down here because the lighting is way better. So all the lighting is like down lighting in here. So we're just going to do it this way. So I've done my makeup. I look very glowy in the viewfinder. But I've done my makeup, done my hair, and I'm going to show you my outfit as well. We're going to head down to breakfast, <coughs> excuse me, um, very shortly. Um, and then we're going to take some pictures of this outfit. Then I'll get changed into another outfit, which I'll show you shortly. And we're going to go take a picture outside of that outfit. Um, and then we're going to chill for a bit in the room and then probably have a walk around Chinatown or Manchester in general. Because we have afternoon tea booked for quarter past one. So we have a little bit of time from when we check out at 11 till quarter past one afternoon tea so we're gonna have a little wander around and then we'll take some pictures of afternoon tea as well so i hope you enjoy it and let's go and get some breakfast before we do go to breakfast i'm just gonna show you i'm just gonna show you my outfit before no view shoot so i'm wearing this dress from cup she and then i've got my <laughs> boots that i picked up from the charity shop which are literally fairfax and favor tubes i really like this dress because it has like this really cute collar i don't know whether you see my cup she haul but I tried it on there and it's got like these really cute buttons and I really like it. It's giving like horsey equestrian vibes, country chic. So that is my outfit. I'm going to take my new favourite bag, which I got off Vinted, which is literally an Hermes dupe. And I've got my little Dior twilly thing on it. So this is my favourite bag. It does not go with the outfit in the slightest, but it's the only bag that I brought with me. So, but I love it. So now we're going to get some breakfast. So we're just in the Henny restaurant. He's my voice, but we're just sat by the window. <laughs> I'm really starting to lose my voice now. And I've just got changed into this Bella Barnet um, two piece and my Holland Cooper jumper and my usual boots. If you can see them, um, we're just going to go take pictures outside the hotel and then come back up and get changed into 
my final outfit to shoot and then we're gonna go for a lovely walk breakfast was really nice but the pancakes were buttermilk pancakes and i definitely prefer vegan pancakes for the win even so breakfast was lovely i'm also tempted to do a gotham hotel review like obviously i've paid for this stay it's not pr or anything like that but on my blog i do a lot of like reviews and things so i thought this would be quite a cool hotel to put on the blog so i feel like i'm gonna do a review off my own back just to put out there put my opinion on it and put that on the, the blog i'll do that at some point don't know when but in the future so we're gonna go shoot some pictures and then get changed and then have a little wonder so we've shot all the photos i've just shot this dress that you cannot see for the gram now we're gonna check out have a little wonder and then come back later on for the afternoon tea i'm wearing a really mismatched outfit but you can't see my dress so it's all good i look like i'm wearing a dressing gown also this coat is from myself in the face from pretty lavish i'll leave a link down below in my ltk and this lovely power necklace that mum got me for christmas but we're just going to check out now we're all packed good to go we'll go pack the car and then check out and then go for a wonder we just packed the car and i thought the shade is bentley that they've got outside look at the red plate it's awesome on it how cool but this is the outside of the hotel looks so fancy i think there's a restaurant in there because it says lucky cat but we just shot some pictures over there a minute ago well about 20 minutes ago oh how nice it's such a cool building. Love that Bentley. That was pretty cool as well. Back in the lift to check out. We just got our afternoon tea. I've got the vegan one. Look at the goodness. Some vegan scones, some vegan sandwiches. Adam's look so cute. That is adorable. We're going to dig in now. Got myself a cup of tea. Yeah, this is so cute. Love it. Jam first or the cream first? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know. I felt yeah, I felt I've just picked that all first without even thinking it, but I put jam on one and then cream on the other. And then squish it together. I don't know, it depends on what mood I'm in, I suppose. I don't like loads of jam though. I don't like loads of jam. It's gotta be enough to cover it. This is like a whipped coconut cream, this is. Oh, I might not eat the other one though, by the way. So if you want it, you can have it, babe. So we finished afternoon tea. I've just come to the bathrooms and I need to show you this. How gorgeous. Stay at the Gotham was absolutely lovely. The um, afternoon tea was nice. Obviously, breakfast was nice. I'm going to do a review on my, vlog, uh, on my vlog. On I keep saying vlog. On my blog at some point. So I'm going to edit on the way home. As you can tell, like by my eyes, I'm very sleepy at the moment. Um, I don't know. Why I feel like exhausted, but we've done so many, so many walks. Wow, my brain is mush. We've done so much walking and I've got like shin splints, if that makes sense. Does anyone get that? Like when I've wore heels too much or wore flat shoes, either one, um, my legs start hurting, hurting up my shins. So we're now on the drive home and I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to give you a little bit of a haul when we get back of what we got. Let me turn you around. Because when we went shopping, oh look at that lighting, that's quite good for this uh, laptop. When we went shopping yesterday, I bought a few things. So I want to show you that when I get back as well. I'll give you a little bit of a haul before I end the video anyway. But I'm going to edit this video. On the way home, we have a good about an hour and a half to go. So I just stopped at services so I can have a wee. Um, so I'm going to edit this vlog. I hope you're enjoying it. And I'll give you a haul when we get home. And just like that, we're back home. And I'm going to show you what... We picked up yesterday and also something from today. So what I bought today is, this isn't actually for me, this is for my brother. Got him a pop vinyl Liverpool player, I'm guessing, Jurgen Klopp. So sorry to the guys and girls that are football fans of this football club, but I have, I'm not into football. This is for my brother, I don't know who this is, but he wanted this, so I've got him that. Oh, just realised I picked that smoothie up, babe, from Aldi. Didn't even realise. I should have had that on the way back. We've got some peanut butter that we picked up in Aldi for Adam earlier. And also this little dispenser because I always take my BHA toner with me, as you've seen, um, in the full bottle. And I thought, you know what, it'd be so much easier if it's in like this little dispenser and I could just like pump it out onto the pads. 
so i'll do that instead there's also a little scratch card in here that came with that pop so i'll put that on there my brother um and then we've got some little smelly things oh wait do you want to smell this that was that bar earlier that's wow nice isn't it Fire that one over that one i don't know which is which now though so that's what we got today yesterday we went into lush and as you would have seen there was a sale for 50 percent off and i got this gift box um that is the i'm guessing the snow fairy on oh sweet christmas yeah sweet christmas box here it's normally a tenner and inside it there's a 100 gram snow fairy roll bubble bar and a 100 gram butter bear bath bomb these two here and i got that for a fiver which is fab and then also got the genie lamp oh they didn't put the sticker on it that's a shame um so i picked that up as well i'm not going to open it because you would have seen it already and also picked up the sleepy candle which was reduced to three pound does the sticker thing come off it oh it has but i don't need it on them anyway it's fine but i went into super drug as well and picked up a new one of my bha toner because there's not much left of it this i swear by it this is so good salicylic acid especially for my spots so if you're struggling with spots um like i was your long-term subscribers you remember i had like bumps all in my scalp here and like i was breaking out a lot here this has cleared my skin up so much so i definitely swear by this anything with salicylic acid in bha toner it, it's brilliant i had another one before but i can't remember what brand it was but this best thing ever and i got it on the member price for six pounds something so i've got that reduced it's normally a tenner and we popped into rituals they had a sale on we got this car air freshener with two refills i was going to get the just the one without this little car air freshener holder because the two on its own was 11 pound but with the holder it was an extra two pounds so i was like you know what i might as well just get it with holder and then we've got an extra one to put in the other car so we got that in this smell holy lotus and white tea which is a lovely smell so we got that and then from bath and body works oh fireworks going off it is new year's eve by the way when i'm filming this so what we got from bath and body works i picked up the twisted peppermint hand soap can't smell it because it's not open obviously but um that was reduced to five pound in the sale i asked in store if they had any of the peppermint range left and they sold out and i went into two different bath and body works and they don't have them anymore and i'm gutted and i really liked the peppermint christmas range should have got it when it was out but oh well i also mm. picked up the winterberry wonder which was reduced to eight pound fifty this smells really nice mm, it's like sweeties so nice i have a little shout out for sophie here because sophie you've now, you have now got me onto bath and body works so only when it's in the sale <laughs> otherwise i feel like it's so spenny but i've also got the hand sanitizers because if you watch my vlogmas week three when me and sophie went to merry hill we went and tried loads of things in bath and body works accidentally squirted like one of these lotions in my nose when i was trying to smell it up it and i picked up these hand sanitizers because sophie got some when she was in america and she's had it for like a year or two and it's lasted her so long so i got these for two pound fifty i've got the watermelon one and the fresh coconut and cotton so yeah i've got them reducing the sale for 250 they're normally four pounds so super happy with those because i did need some new hand soap for the bathroom and a new body lotion anyway i didn't purchase things that i didn't need which was quite good well it's not like i needed a candle and a, a bath bomb but to be fair i have used all my bath bombs so i've been quite good with purchasing things i've, I've not bought stuff that i don't need bought another bath bomb so i'm stocked up for bath bombs i've got this donut one please excuse the fireworks going off in the background and i also picked up this vitamin enriched moisturizing primer reduced from 450 to £2.50 which I've, i think i've had good things about on tiktok so i wanted to give that a go because it was reduced so it wasn't too first about that so i'm going to try that out and then i've got some knee high and ankle high socks because my fairfax and favor boots i realized that i should have got a size five because the size four are a bit too tight on me um with socks on but if i wear them with just tights which is why i bought these which were two pound fifty each they fit on my feet that little bit better but i think if i'm going to get another pair of boots from fairfax and favor i think they need to be a size five but i really need to go in the store and get my feet and calves sized um just to see which is the right size for me so i think i'll do that next time i go to the cotswolds or near one of the shops and that is everything i got cute little haul i didn't go too mad i was quite good to be fair i didn't buy loads of stuff that i didn't need I'm quite proud of myself for that because i'm trying to get out of that we have come to the end of the video i really have hoped you have enjoyed it 
Did that make sense? I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'd love to see you more in 2024. And I shall see you in my next video, which will be an Audi grocery haul. I'll see you on Sunday at half five. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye. I wanna be the life of